Farah, that was excellent. Those yes, young was. girls were mind blowing. <laughs> they were very intelligent. They really were. They really Where were. Where did you get that? Well, hmm. Awesome, awesome girls. Awesome. Young ladies who have been organizing, like they said, a webinar series called Working Women's Webinars. And wow. every At time. 17. 17 and 18. So wow. two of them are 18. Reni and Ama are 18. No. Olua Kemi and Ama are 18, and Reni is 17. And, and they understand yes, communication they so much. Anytime I have conversations with them, I am blown away. I yes. look at them when I'm talking to them, and I'm like, ah, when I was their age, Where were you? I didn't know my left to my right. <laughs> you see, and the, the, be the beauty is that they made such deep Revolutions. comments. Yeah. They made such deep comments mm. and such deep commitment to humility yeah. that I mean I was I think I, I think I was blown away. <laughs> that again is kudos to excellent parenting. Yeah. Sure. Because sure. you have to have somebody who's actually guiding you in the right direction. Mm. And you know the irony of it, it then takes me to something um, Eniola had said, you know, where she said you have to start talking to them from conception. Yes. Mm. True. Funny thing Renny's mom used to talk to her when well, she was she in her was... mom's tummy. Mm. You know, so it, it, it all makes sense. Yes. You know, yes. It, it's, it's just amazing. Sometimes you, you think that they're too young, you know, to understand. Yeah. And um, that's just proof that at that's, no point they're yeah. not too young yeah. at no, all. No, I think outright, that outright, they hear. outright it, there, there, there was a revelation today yes. that um, we we have taken for granted, you know, the level or what could be achieved with these children. We yeah. shouldn't take them for granted. Yeah. And that's what they've yeah. said loud and clear, yes. that we're here, we're ready, you know. But I have we're a little available. concern. I have a little concern. I think there's a little bit that we should expect from, from generally from their age group, okay. you know, in terms of displaying displaying these qualities. Mm, I hear you. That is the problem. When you begin to expect and you put a caveat like yeah. this is a box where you yeah. have been placed. Yeah. But you know, the thing is, I think, I think the onus is on us. Hmm. If I'm going to be very honest, I think the older generation have failed them. Hmm. Yeah. Because we've assumed, yeah. we've, we've made a lot of assumptions about how how much they know what they don't know. And like they said, we want to connect. They are ready, they are willing, and they understand how to do it. But we just assume that they're not ready. So mm. we don't even engage them. And we cannot overemphasize that factor, connectivity. Yeah. And it's not limited to the young ones alone. Yeah. Even yeah. among spi uh, spouses, yes. yeah. even among the in-laws and every other person that is within your family circle, yes. you know, the essence of communication is to be able to achieve connectivity. Connecti which is what um, our first guest, yes. Excel, yes. Mm. Yes. Excel Samuel, was uh, emphasizing. Yes, connectivity so, is everything because communication is the bedrock of everything. everything. You know, a successful marriage a successful parenting relationship, Career. workplace relationships. Sure. You know, every type of relationship requires communication to thrive. Mm. You know, so this, this is, I'm, I'm really quite pleased that and we... And I was pleasantly went. reminded today that um, uh, it's important that you listen, not only listening, it's also important that you know the, in quote, the person with whom you're communicating. Yes. Not preconceived, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. You know the person. So mm -hmm. your conversation flow and pattern and language, body language and all of it, mm. it's, it's acceptable to that person. So it's not something that you generalize. Yes. 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 Incredible. Awesome. In awesome stuff. Yeah, awesome a lot of stuff. things that we take for granted. Yes. We think we've known it all. <laughs> and then you, you know? have a show like this and it just shows that you really... Don't know too much. Yes. You know, that the we must process learn of learning, on yeah. learning, it really is, I, I'm humbled. Mm. I really and the am. aspect of feedback, John. 
the, the, the aspect of feedback key. Is, is key because it confirms that uh, you have brought the, peop the, the other person onto the same page with and you. And that you have results. And that, yeah, you have results. Because can, at the know. end of the day, you want results. You want a change in attitude. You want uh, positivity in the whole environment. Yeah. You know, so you must. And remember that one of the girls said communication it's two it's ways. A two ways. It's a two-way two. thing. Yes, two. that was you ready. Know, yes. You, yeah. you, yes. You deliver, you get a feedback, yes. and then you know that the cycle is, yeah. Uh, yeah. is complete. Mm. Yes. Mm. Very mm. interesting. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. Ability to listen. I feel like having this kind of session again. Every day. Yeah, very, <laughs> sometime very soon. Thanks yes. to Fumi. It is, it is uh, very And her important. team. But yes. We have something special that we're expecting from you. Oh, yes. And uh, you see, my excitement, I don't know if you noticed it, my excitement is that my nugget, yeah. my nugget for today, you know, addresses the issue of listening, mm. you know, and hearing. Mm. And the nugget is this. Hearing is a function. Hearing is a function. Listening is a desire. Wow. That's deep. Hearing is a function because you could be passive yes. when, you're, when, you're, when you hear. Mm. You know, you could just hear and not internalize and mm. not understand. Take note of yes, it. you've heard it. Mm. Mm. So when you're standing in front of your audience, because I, I really want to put this now in perspective of a public speaker, yeah. mm. right? A presenter, you're addressing your audience. Mm. If your audience is merely hearing you, mm. then you're not carrying them along. They're not understanding what you're saying, you know then it really doesn't mean much to them. Mm -hmm. But when you move them from the point of just hearing to listening, which is a more deliberate effort and a function, once it becomes a function, it begins to engage the audience. They get more entrenched in what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You carry them along. Mm -hmm. They understand you. And your message becomes you, your message is delivered. Mm. That is when you will get the result. And you get the vibe to do better, because you at that point you know that you got their attention. Yes. yes. So hearing is a function. Listening is a desire. Just like wow. I'm listening right now. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the takeaway for our audience, uh, our viewers rather, mm. today that, uh, yes, when you come on the show, when we talk about family values and vibes like that, you get extra. We want you to do it with a little more desire. Let's engage ourselves a little more. Let's get a feedback from you. Sure. You know, each time we say a few things to you that, yes, you agree with or you don't. That way, we'll all be on the same page and uh, yes. we'll make the show a greater one for and, everyone. And to get feedback from you, like John has just said, you can follow us, you should follow us yeah. on at plus TV Africa on Instagram and on YouTube. You can subscribe so that we know that you're listening and you're watching and you're watching and you can tell us what things you want us to talk more about. True. That's One of the things that we're going to be talking about in the next coming weeks is depression and also the importance of mentorship. So please stay with us and be a part of this journey. Yeah, because we, we, we plan to make this um, very sequential so that even if you've missed one show, yeah. you know, it flows into the next in such a way that um, it doesn't come across as you've missed so much because in the next show, there will be some elements of what you missed the previous week yes. because it's a, it's a gradual progression. Yes, because For it's example, all connected. we're talking about communication today yeah. and next week we're talking on depression. Yes. And depression, incidentally, is one of the um, fallback or wrong... Of a breakdown yeah, in communication. That, that comes from mm -hmm. breakdown in, in communication. communication yes. mm -hmm. So, so mm -hmm. that's the process. But like Farrah said... If there's something that you'd like for us to pick up and talk about on this show, we are available because it's all about you. If you're not there, we can be here. Yeah. Thank you so much, Helen. <laughs> so it's been uh, today with 
John and Helen, your family show. I was tempted to say your regular family <laughs> show. And of course, it is your regular family show. It should be your regular family show. Every Saturday, 9.15 on this station. And uh, I hope that uh, next week you'll be there for us. We definitely will be here for you. We hope you've enjoyed yourselves. Bye now. Bye. Thank okay. you so much. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again same time next, next Saturday. week Saturday. Bye-bye.